Hey learners, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. So today I am back with another interview question. This is a very important and interesting question, and it has been asked in the product-based companies data analyst interview. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started. So guys, this is the SQL problem that we have. On the left side, we have the input table. This input table has two columns. One is name and other is status. So the name column repre represents the name of the people and status is showing whether the person is COVID positive or COVID negative. We need to write an SQL query to print the output table. So the output table has two columns. One is positive and other is negative. And the data in this table contains the number of records or number of people for whom the status is positive and status is negative consecutively. So now let's go to my SQL workbench to see the solution. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench and I, I already have created this table by the name COVID underscore status. So first of all, let's fetch the data from this table. Let me write a basic select statement for that. Uh, let's define the database first. Let's execute this. So select star from COVID underscore status. Let's execute this. So guys, this is the table that we have and we want to write an SQL query to print this as the output table, right? So now, how can we do that? So now in the output table, there are two things to note. The first one is the column names. So here in the input table, the state we have two type of status, positive and negative, and we are getting them as the column names in the output table. Second thing is the data. So in this output table, we are getting number of people for which the status is positive and number of people for which the status is negative. So let's move ahead to write the solution for this. Since we are putting the number of people who, with the status positive and negative, so obviously we'll be using count function here. So let's see how can we use that. So select. So first of all, in the first column that we are going to print here, we want the positive count and the alias will be positive. So what we can do, we'll be writing a query, we'll be writing a case statement, case when. So when status equals to positive, equals to positive, then it will return the name, right? Else it will return null. Now I want to count all these right i want to count the names for which status equals to positive so what i will do i will be using count and i'll pass this case statement in this count now the second thing i want to rename this column as positive so i will be using aliasing here as positives or positive now similarly for the negative we can do this in the similar way we just copy this and uh, I'll change this with negative so what we are doing here we are counting the number of names for which status equals to negative right and we are naming this column as negative now from the table name is covid underscore status so let's execute this and see the output okay one thing I forgot to mention here uh, I need to mention end here and similarly I need to mention end here as well because this is the syntax of a case statement you need to mention case when something some condition then this will happen else other part and then we have to end the case statement so which I which I forgot to do it here so we need to write end right now let's execute this to see the output see we are getting positive 3 and negative 3 which is similar to the desired output so guys this way we can attempt this problem and other problems where we need to pivot our data so this problem is a little bit tricky and interesting because there is no direct function in sql which we can use to pivot our data so that's why it's very interesting problem and it is very commonly used for the analysis and reporting purpose so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel as I will be sharing more questions like this in my upcoming videos.